But this year we kind of have a taste of you know what to expect, and we're working hard both in the off season and this past fall to you know prepare ourselves mentally and physically for what's to come. What's your expectations this season? Well, right now, of course, it's you know it's to win game one to go out and beat Louisville down in Charleston, um, and then we'll take it from there. It's kind of a step by step process. You say that you didn't know what to expect going to the conference. They didn't ex know what to expect from you. You surprised a lot of people, whether it's here or you know in the rest of the conference. Now going into the season, you're not going to sneak up on anybody. How do you take a different approach, knowing that you know people aren't going to write you off? You're not going to you're not going to just surprise somebody by beating. Them. Right. Yeah. People kind of know what to expect after seeing us play last year. Um, before last year, you know West Virginia really wasn't on the map baseball wise, and uh, coming into this new conference and really you know. Uh, I guess leaving a mark for the first season was, was pretty big. And this year, you know, we're going to go in with high expectations as we did last year um, as a team, because I know we got the talent. Um, we're going to go in with high expectations and, you know, hopefully, you know, carry those expectations out. Ryan, how pumped are you about playing Big 12 games at Hawley this year? Well, I can't wait. Um, last year, we played Pitt at Hawley Field. Um, we had a huge crowd. You know, basically, the whole, I felt like the whole university was there at that game. So I can only expect, you know, the same outcome this year. Um, but I'm very excited. I really am. Harrison, uh, talk about uh, your excitement level to, to start the season. Yeah, no, I'm thrilled. You know, we got about four weeks to go, and then we get to start playing some games. And we have a lot of high expectations after last year. And I think with the players we have coming in, the returners, we uh, we should be able to do some pretty special things this year. What are those expectations? I mean, I think everybody's pretty excited with the opportunity to win the Big 12 championship, make a regional for sure in like 20 years or something like that. So I think that's some pretty cool stuff that we have a chance to do. How about some of the uh, recognition you're getting, obviously, preseason? Uh, Big honors. Big honors doesn't mean anything, though, personally. I mean, preseason, so nobody's played anything. But, I mean, it's cool nonetheless. You guys clearly will raise your expectations. I'm sure maybe last year you thought more of yourselves than a lot of other people did coming into the season. But to have the results you did, play within one game of the championship game for the conference, you're not going to sneak up on anybody this year. How do you take maybe a different approach this year, knowing that people will be ready for you and, and not be surprised by how well you play? You know, I don't know if the approach is really going to be that much different. I mean, we're going to play loose and, you know, just play our game and then make people adjust to us. You know, last year we could have – we probably snuck, on, snuck up on some people, but this year we're not going to be able to. But I don't think it's going to change how we play. Uh, you know, after a while, you can you can only sneak up on someone for maybe a game. So, like, the next two, even if we won, you know, they were ready for us and uh, we competed and I think it would be the same this year. As confident as you could have been coming into last year, seeing the results, does that make you feel a little bit different this year coming in and knowing that you are capable of it? I mean, yeah, it gives you a little bit of extra confidence. But overall, you just got to pitch your game. And really, you can only control so so many things when you pitch. You don't really worry about everything else. And you know, this year, hopefully, it'll be pretty much like last year, and we'll do pretty well. I'm guessing the hitters in the Big 12 are going to make adjustments against you this year. Have seen you last year. You're going to have to do the same. Right? Yeah, you know, it's you know, you've played somebody one time, you know, in college year, t twice for TCU, but you know, adjustments will be made, and that's just part of baseball, and it's uh, it's going to be an exciting thing that you know, I haven't really got to do very have often. Made, have you made some changes to your repertoire? Are there any new pitches that you've been working on? That you've um, made? Not really. I mean, I worked on more of a breaking ball that I didn't really have much of last year, and it's it's improving and stuff, but it still has ways to come. But that's pretty much the only difference between this year and last year. Was it hard to turn down the Phillies at all? <laughs> you pretty much set to um, I was I was pretty much set to come back to college. You know, um, the position I got drafted in wasn't all that great. I mean, it's still an honor and stuff, but uh, I was I was looking forward to getting closer to graduation and you know, getting a degree. That's why I came to college, anyways. And you know, after this year, I'll be even closer, and then we'll see how what happens after that. Plus, the competition of the Big Twelve. Oh yeah, competition of the Big Twelve. It's definitely a uh, enticing thing. You know, we play a lot of good teams, and everybody's everybody has good hitters, good pitchers, great ball games, and it was definitely worth it. So I'm looking forward to it again.